Morning Year 6 and welcome to Day 8 of our writing unit. What you do now, I'd like you to record down what the following are examples of. Belief, belief idea, hope, 35%, whereas, although. So pause the video please. So belief, idea and hope are all examples of abstract nouns. 35% is a fact to support the point, whereas, although are conditional phrases. In today's lesson, you will be planning your discussion text. We would like you to plan your discussion text in your book first and then copy up your plan onto the seesaw page provided. OK, so the first thing is to plan it in your book and then copy up your plan once you're happy onto the seesaw page. So when planning, you need to consider the following thing, the following things. What is the question you are discussing? What are the arguments for? And you include facts to support this argument. What are the facts against? Again, include facts to support this argument. And what would you conclude after reviewing both sides? The first thing you need to do is to write down all the points for and against. The discussion text we will be writing about is based on the following question. Should animals be kept in zoos? Should animals be kept in zoos? Take a moment just to look at these pictures. I'm going to now read to you a collection of viewpoints from different people about why animals should be kept in zoos or why they shouldn't be kept in zoos. Zoos are prisons for animals. If you view animals at the zoo, you will see that these animals spend most of their existence trying to escape. For the most part, these animals do not want to be kept in captivity. So that is very clearly a, view, a viewpoint which is against animals being in zoos. Animals that have been brought up in captivity are used to it. If they were put back into their natural habitat, they would probably be eaten by predators straight away. If we have zoos, sorry, if we banned zoos, these animals would not be safe anymore. So this view is clearly one in favour of, of having animals in zoos. Even though animals and zoos, sorry, even though animals and humans are different, they are both living things and we should respect them as we respect each other's. So we should ban zoos. So another viewpoint in favour of, of animals not being kept in zoos. Zoos are the closest place for us to watch animals that we didn't know. We can learn about those animals and see them not in books, but in real. People say that animals can feel uncomfortable with the zoo circumstances, but actually they seem to be having fun and really don't mind, sorry, and don't really care about us. The zoo is the only place we can see and watch animals that we can only see in books. So this person's in favour of keeping zoos open because this is the only way we can see animals in real. Zoos allow people to enjoy animals that they would never see if they had to go to the animal's natural habitat. Zoo, zoos help educate people so they understand the need for conservation, both for the animals and the plants. This raises awareness. They also help protect endangered and irre irreplaceable species, ultimately providing a better world for the animals. So again, this person is in favour of having zoos open because it understands the need for conservation. Now, just imagine that you're an animal. On one beautiful day, you are playing with your parents and someone runs up with a big net and takes you away. How do you feel? This person obviously is against keeping animals in zoos. They are safer in zoos. They are in a better environment and won't get hunted anymore. If the animal is hurt, the zoo can help the animal. Again, think about which side this person would be on. Would you like to live in a cage and be stared at all day? I don't think so. How do you think animals feel? How would you feel? Think about it. Living in a cage surrounded by humans staring at you, I think it is a cruel place. Animals in the zoo can increase the revenue for the tourism industry, meaning more money for the government. So this person here is in favour because it's bringing money to, uh, to the economy because people are coming to see these animals in, in zoos. They give the opportunity for many children and adults as well to see animals that they would never see otherwise. Zoos can be educational. The animals would need to be treated well with cleanliness, adequate food and medical attention when needed. So in favour of keeping zoos. Zoos 
have research programs that help expand our knowledge about animals, especially the endangered species. The information given, gained by these programs can help protect and treat the species in the wild, as well as determine what effects any climate change can have on the region needed for the species to flourish. Many zoos also have breeding programs for all kinds of species, endangered or not, and learn more about the species during the breeding and rearing process. All this knowledge and information is shared with visitors, organisation and other programmes alike. So again, in, in favour of keeping the zoos because it's, it's fantastic for research programmes. They don't have to be kept in an enclosed place just for entertainment. It's a bit cruel. I think it is unfair to keep animals in zoos because they are in a small area where they don't get to learn how to take care of themselves. The zookeeper gives the animals food that they don't need. If we want to save the world's whole population of animals, we have to start by rebuilding their habitats because we will save more animals that way. This is why we should get rid of zoos. This person here. People under, don't understand the good that a zoo does. There are education centres for school visits that provide people with a chance to see animals that they'd otherwise never see in the world. In the wild, sorry. Zoos are also really important for research and conservation efforts too. A lot of money is invested in preserving natural habitats and zoos play an important role in looking after endangered animals. So obviously in favour of keeping zoos. And this young lady is very much against. These horrendous places should stop kidding themselves by suggesting that zoo visits are educational. Most visitors don't spend much time reading the information board. They just look at the animals and move on. Animals often show signs of stress at being forced to live in captivity. Many are made to live in unnatural climates, climates and there's just something wrong about forcing animals to live a life where people stare at them all day for entertainment. So, you've listened to lots of points for and against. So considering different points of view as well as your own, consider why some people would want to keep zoos open while others would want to close them permanently. What I'd like you to do is use the planning sheet attached to help you plan your discussion text. On Seesaw, you have this planning sheet. First of all, plan on your, in your home, home learning book and when you're ready, copy up your ideas on your planning sheet and submit it on Seesaw. So should animals be kept in zoos? The reasons for keeping the animals in zoo on this side, then the reasons against keeping them in zoos. Think of what sentence openers you could use. Firstly, in addition, moreover, on the other hand, and then adventurous words, entertaining, cruelty, detrimental, cared for. So think of some adventurous words which will have an impact. So fill in your planning sheet and when you are ready, submit it in, please. Remember to use all the resources that we have given you over the last week. So read through your plan and make sure you have included all the important details. Submit your plans on Seesaw, ready for your hot task tomorrow. See you tomorrow.